Almost three months later, the Guyana Elections Commission GCOM continues to grapple with the use of data obtained during the July-August house-to-house registration exercise. GCOM Commissioner says Gunraj addressed the issue after Tuesday's statutory meeting. The house-to-house -house data and the use thereof continues to be an issue which we are grappling with. Uh, based on the cross-matching information that we have received, there is a, a, the number of forms that did not attract a hit from the cross-matching report, number about 60,000. On the face of it, one would want to suggest or assume that those are new persons. However, the Chief Election Officer has indicated to us that the Secretariat on the, uh, went through a process where they interrogated and looked at that cr uh, cross-matching uh, report and they have found about 17 plus thousand people who were not hit or were presumed to be new to be already on the database. So what we do with that information is anyone's guess. There is a, a lot of contentious debate in the, um, in the Secretariat about what is to be there. Uh, we have taken decisions to contact the uh, service provider of the fingerprint cross-matching, but that is where we are. The reason why there can be no vote on this matter is because there is no clarity on the data itself, much less the use of the data. Meanwhile, just about 300 persons have picked up their ID cards after GCOM published a list of 19,000 persons who have not collected their ID cards since 2008. Government commissioners have been clamoring for the list to be cleared of those who don't collect their ID cards. <laughs> if, these duplic if these people who haven't collected their cards consist of possibly of the overseas dead, the local dead, and the overseas people who haven't uplifted their cards, there's nothing alarming. The number who haven't uplifted is in itself alarming, but the categories, there's nothing alarming about it. We have no mechanism to determine if somebody dies overseas to take the person off the list. Those cards will not be collected. We have no mechanism, even locally if people are dying, they don't register their death to take the names off the list. So, so for me, there's nothing alarming. We just need to deal with the issue to ensure you don't have these names hanging around to be manipulated in the electoral process. But Mr. Alexander, how do you... Removed, so huh? They still, they still will be removed. on the list. Well, for me, for me, there should be some mechanism to have those names removed. What is, was the decision taken on the hiring of um, preliminary... Like, um, What's the word? Temporary staff? The okay. secretary is working on that. Mr. Alexander, how do you know that a lot of these people who have not collected their ID cards are not voting by any other means? Passport? The issue uh, is not the issue is not the ID card. Why would someone who is available and resident and all of that not uplift an ID card? They're just not interested in it. Good. So the dead not interested? But how do you know that you're dead? Oh, I'm not saying they're all dead, but it or is obvious, it is obvious that we would have Guyanese overseas who would have died, who would have been registered, and that there's no mechanism, first in the instance, for them to uplift their character to overseas, and secondly, for us to know that they've died. But how do you know that any or most of them have not been using other forms of identification or just turning up to police stations and voting in the past? I think from observation, from observation, we don't have that large number of people who don't use ID cards. That's one. But secondly, whether or not they've done it in the past, we have a, made an effort to say to these people, come and uplift your cards. A non-response, one has to take a non-response as a problem. Not merely somebody don't want to believe the ID card. No, we've written to them. We've published their names. Come uplift your ID card. We're trying to determine these people's existence more or less. It's not the ID card is the issue.